I just wanted to share that with uh, everyone. And it's a story. Um, and it made me think of how God wants to get the glory out of our story or the glory out of our stories. And as we live this life, we have many stories. So this is just one story. And, uh, and I will try to make it brief and uh, to the point so I don't keep you too long. But um, my story starts when I was in about the third grade. And uh, back then, we, um, uh, they served hot meals in the cafeteria for lunch. And this particular day, uh, I don't know what else they served, but they served sauerkraut. And I hated sauerkraut. Um, and to make a long story short, I don't like it. I didn't like it then, and I still don't like it. But back in third grade, uh, I was sitting in the cafeteria, and the cafeteria was huge. And as a third grader, uh, s things just seem so much bigger anyway. Life just seems big. And so as I sit there, I had the sauerkraut on my plate, on my tray, and to make a long story short with that, my teacher would not let me go until I had eaten at least two or three bites of that sauerkraut. Um, I had eaten everything else, but I did not want the sauerkraut. But she said, I could not leave that tray. I could not leave that table until I had eaten that sauerkraut. So I started to cry. And... It wasn't so much that she wanted me to eat that. It was the fact that this cafeteria was full of people, full of other students, different grades. It was just everyone, it was so big that everyone could come in at the same time for lunch. And just the humiliation and I was just upset. And so my sister, she was standing in line uh, with her grade and she saw me and she came over and asked what the problem was. And I told her that uh, I was being made to eat the sauerkraut. So I made it through that experience. And that was, like I say, when I was in third grade, an eight year old child, to bring it down to the present my granddaughter came home from school and she's 10 and she had an experience where something made her cry at school, something that was said or done and she was upset about it. And for some reason, the Lord brought this experience of mine after all these years after all these years, he brought this experience up for me to share with my granddaughter. And I shared that with her. And then when I got done with it, telling her the story of, of my third grade uh, sauerkraut moment, um, she, I was letting her know that I got through it. I finished school. I went on to uh, go further than that. I went on to get married, have a family, and have grandchildren. And I was sharing this with her. And as I shared it with her, I could see God's glory on her face. God wants to get the glory out of our story all these years, all these years, but in due time, God took that story of mine that he allowed me to go through as an eight-year-old child to share with her after all of these years, but he got the glory out of my story. He got the glory out of that experience with a 10-year-old girl, little girl that was going through something. And when I saw the glory of God on her face, in bright, she brightened up and she smiled. And when I dropped her off at school, 
I just whispered in her ear and I told her, I said, just you be brave. So in sharing that experience and in sharing uh, how she received it, you know, I saw the glory of God and how he got the glory out of that story for her benefit after all these years. So sometimes we don't know, you know, when we go through certain things at whatever age and the weight that those experiences have. And at an appointed time, God will bring those things back up so he can get the glory out of that story to promote and to build up another human being, no matter what their age is and who they are. You know, she she walked away that day, you know, knowing that, you know, she could get through that day. We don't know what weight is laying on children in this hour. We don't know what's bearing down on them. We don't know uh, how they perceive certain things and how they feel certain things and how they're going to carry those kinds of things. So uh, when uh, I saw her today, you know, I asked her, did she have a better day? And she was so much happier, you know, and who knows what the impact was of that story, you know, that God used after all these years. I'm an older woman now, and I never would have thought to share such a silly uh, story that seems like a bunch of nonsense to myself even today. But it came back to my remembrance to share with this little girl, this 10-year-old little girl, my granddaughter, to make her day better. Somebody's waiting. Somebody's waiting for someone, some child, someone that's hurting, someone somewhere, a mother, a father, a grandmother, uh, whoever, a friend, a husband, a wife. Somebody's waiting for someone to let them know, be brave. Someone's waiting for someone to tell someone to be encouraged. S waiting for someone. Somebody's waiting for someone else to tell them, you're going to make it. This too shall pass. God has got b great plans for you. God is going to use your story and he's going to get the glory out of it. He's going to help someone by your story. He is going to... Uh, build someone up from your story. No one ever knows. We could be long gone from planet earth, but other people will still be here and they will remember the story. Someone needs to tell their story today. Somebody needs to tell a story to someone that will encourage them on their way today. We're facing a whole lot of things today. We're facing a lot of things that we have never seen and behaviors that we've never seen from people before. Someone needs to be encouraged today. So my message today in just this brief moment in time is to just to pass on uh, just uh, this brief experience that I had that God brought back to share after all these years with another little girl that's going through something that your feelings are hurt or you don't, you just think your world's coming to an end. And I wanted to reassure her that you're going to, your dreams are going to be fulfilled. God's going to carry you through. You can still accomplish your dreams. This is going to pass. God's going to take you through school. You're going to have relationships. You're going to meet friends. You're going to have friends. The sky's the limit. So I wanted her to know in that story is just keep, just keep on looking to God. Just keep on looking ahead, looking straight ahead, not looking to the left or looking to the right and never to be stuck in one place. Just keep on going forward and God's going to be with you every step of the way. He said he would never leave us nor forsake us. He's going to be with us through thick and thin. He's going to be with us in the good times and the bad times. He's going to be with us when we're laughing and when we're crying. He's going to be with us wherever we go. He does not want us to stay stuck in one little place. And there's so many more stories that God wants to get the glory from out of our lives. And, and so I, I had an opportunity to take this 
and be encouraged myself and realizing that all the stories that I have, our life is one big story. Our life is many chapters of one big story. And so God can take those chapters and he can use those over here, over there, or to whomever he pleases. And so, you know, I'm just thanking God today. This simplistic story, and I just pray that someone benefits from it. It's just so simple. And the, the main, uh, the whole thought of it all is that we all need to be encouraged somehow. And we all need to take the, the time to stop long enough and pass on an encouraging word to somebody. Somebody's hurting today. There's somebody's family today that is going through some trials and tribulations that are and are suffering today. Their heart is broken today behind certain circumstances and events that have occurred in their life on today. And so we need to encourage one another in this hour and continue to always remember is that there's... Each one of us are going down this journey and on the or down this path. And we need to forever and always while we're living here on earth is to lift one another up, encourage one another, be one another's support, be one another, uh, one another's encouragement. And uh, always knowing that we, our words can mean something to someone. Our words can speak life. And they can speak death. And so I thank God today that he chose, you know, the words of life today to a little girl, to a little child. And, what can, you know, how many more other people can we say some encouraging things to? So that is my, uh, just uh, my moment of sharing today. Just a moment of uh, sharing a reflection in time and to uh, share it with whomever Somebody needed to hear that today. I don't know, you know, uh, but that was what, what was on my heart today, just to share. And I pray that I've, uh, you know, expressed it in a way that will be beneficial, that will just um, be a light to someone, that will give someone what they need to get over that hurdle, to get over that hump that they need to get over. And so just wanted to uh, bless you all with that just that story and always remember that your story God wants to get the glory out of it God wants to use your story to build someone up he wants to use your story to encourage someone to help someone get through the day to help someone know that they can make it into tomorrow and that there is a hope for tomorrow so just always remember your stories are not in vain your experiences are not in vain. Everything that you're going through, everything I'm going through, everything we're all going through as children of God means something. God can use these experiences. He can use these stories just to encourage somebody. So don't take it lightly. Don't underestimate what God, the weight of your story means to God. You know, heaven's weight in scales is not the same as the scales and the weight in on earth. God will take a message so simplistic as this and there is weight to it that will help someone remember it for a lifetime. That will be, be something that they can hang on to in a dark place. I promise you, you know, there's many dark places that come in our lives sometime and God will use the, the experiences of other people to help us navigate our way out of the darkness. So I praise God for an opportunity just to share this experience and God willing, uh, there'll be many more and that uh, we'll, I'll be back again to share another brief story and uh, just a, a brief moment uh, to pass on some good news and, and just to uh, pass on some reflection.